Hello, welcome to the allotment here on a Saturday afternoon. It's 12 o'clock lunchtime. I come down this time because I think there won't be any people here and there's only, I think it's like two guys, one guy, maybe two. Not much to do. I've got a couple of broccolis to put in. The Meesner's doing well. There's even some daikon coming up. I'll thin those down to about two in each row, I think. Potatoes. Not much sign yet, but um, we had a lot of rain, so I'm, I have high hopes. High hopes for my spuds. That's good to keep the weeds down, isn't it? But you've got to make sure it's all pinned down. I'm a bit tired, actually. I, was, I went out for a, a long bike ride this morning, like 72 kilometres. <laughs> Shattered now. <laughs> I prob they'll probably find me collapsed here amongst my seedlings. Let's put the... Um, Let's put the broccolis in. Let's put one there. One there. The lady at the at the shop gave me an extra one. I'm Frank Desley. And I'm Des Frankly. Um, actually, Des, I don't think we're in this one. What do you mean, Frank? We're not in it. Well, I think he's just going to dig round the potatoes and that's it. But, you know, Frank, we've got to tell the viewers how he's digging and, and such like. Well, Des, I'm completely on your side. I completely agree. Yes, so, absolutely. Well, well, what's the problem then, Frank? Well, what, what's going on? I think I think he's had too much wine, actually. Too much Des, wine? And, uh, you know, he's had his dinner uh. and uh, that's it. You know, post-production. But... You know, goodbye. But Frank, when will we get a chance then? Well, Des, I'm pretty sure next week. Next you know, week? Uh, we'll have a better chance. Next week? But, you know, there's nothing else to do. Yes. Oh, right. I know, I know, Des, but um, there it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't think you should say that, actually, Frank. I just found another one, these little tiny trees. I have transplanted them in the past. They are little, I think they're like little beech. Are they beech or ash or one of those, birch? But I don't like to see them. <laughs> just, uh, you know, get thrown away as weeds because trees are not weeds, are they? You know, this is a weed. No, I think this is probably a weed. That's an end. That's a bottle. Any beans? No, not sausage. Not sausage, John. No. Well, that's about it. I've watered those. Um, I've watered those seedlings. Uh, I put in a bit of broccoli, and I also watered the daikon. Yeah. So it is. Uh, it's like peak cherry at the moment. We are at peak cherry, and uh, nothing can stop people wanting to go out and look at the cherry. No coronavirus or um, what else? What else might stop you going out to see the cherry? Maybe the pandemic. They're not allowed to have though the Ohanami. 
Those are like the cherry blossom picnics. Those are not allowed. You can't do that. So, but people are still going out, taking pictures of them. So yeah, and today's probably the perfect day. It's like they're almost full and it's sunny, it's warm. Tomorrow's gonna to be raining, so. This looks like a triangulation point, doesn't it? A triangulation point, there's another one there. So there should be a third one. Trig points at the top of mountains in England and the British Isles. British Isles, or no, the United Kingdom? Y yeah, at the top of mountains, they have a triangulation point, don't they? I think in the States they call them something else. But once you see that, that um, you know, triangulation point, you know that you've reached the top of the mountain. Don't you think? It's very symbolic, I think, of something. I think that's it for now. I think um, this is John at the allotment saying, thank you very much for watching this. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.